My feelings about the sentencing is uh, it's it's the same before he was convicted. It's it's just not enough time. It's not enough. He's a finger to a bigger hand, and there's more involved. But uh, to be charged with involuntary manslaughter for being involved with my brother's passing, it's like four years and you'll be out in two. Is it doesn't make sense. Before the verdict was read, we we were strong because we were there as a family. We were all on the same mindset and. We knew that he was going to go down, but look what he's going down for, what, four years? But we, um, we just want everybody brought forth who had something to do with this. And uh, like I say again, it, it's a lot of questions that we still are looking for answers. And maybe the civil trial will bring that out. That's, there's going to be a court date, I, I think, coming September 2012. Prince Paris and Blanket are fine. They're growing up to be wonderful human beings. My mother's doing a great job with the staff she has and making sure that, I mean, she's raising them the way she raised us and, and making sure they wash their hands before they go into the refrigerator and they come, in, come into the kitchen. No, but um, no, they will not be, be there. That's, that's not for them to attend the, uh, the sentencing, no. But they're doing okay overall. They're doing fine, really. They're yeah. they're they're doing very well. They're 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 getting a chance to be children and to grow up. There's been some reports on him feeling suicidal. Do you have any sympathy for that? <sighs> no, I'm, you never know what the truth is today, really, because is is maybe he wants to talk, and maybe somebody else wants to kill kill him. You never know, but I'm just just saying that I don't I don't understand how someone can kill somebody with a high profile like my my brother and do two years. That's what he's eventually going to do. When you look at these murder shows and Joe Smith kills Joe Blow down the street, they get 25 to life. So there's something wrong here. Something is definitely wrong. You knew Michael better than anyone. Um, what do you think he would have thought about this? Just knowing. How personality? That's a tough question because he's the victim at this point, but what, what Michael would have thought of this, he, he would have never ever thought that someone that he trusted would take his life. He would have never ever thought that people around him would not care or have the human decency to care about him during a time when he was very ill and, and, and asking for help and them turning, turning their head and tough love. What do you mean tough love? If someone is not feeling well, you should be concerned. What happened to us as just human beings caring about people. It doesn't have to be someone who you're working with, so someone who you know, just a, just a normal person off the street. You see someone help. Human instincts tell you you're supposed to at, at least care and try to do something. But it, in this case, it's really sad. And these are the questions that we want answers to. I won't talk to him. The first time I saw him was when my brother was at the, um, in UCLA and I didn't even know who he was and he walked in the room where my mother was and I was and he just, I, I didn't know who he was but I noticed something very nervous about this guy. Then I found out later that was Dr. Conrad Murray. But there's nothing I have to say to him. You wouldn't have any questions for him? Or no? I, what, what can you, no, be, be in this case, for someone to call himself a doctor and to be, to take an oath and, and to not look at his ability to take care of Michael, but he was looking at the money and things has been taken out of context here be, because the most important thing is your ability to take care of the patient, your ability to, as a doctor, to care and to monitor. I said, sitting there in the opening statements of the trial was, was like 
me hearing an echo from the book that I wrote because I had said so many times in the book it was negligence they were gonna try to put my brother on trial my my brother was not an addict my brother trusted the doctor the doctor uh, called himself weaning Michael off of propofol and o ordering four point some gallons of it how can you wean some somebody off of it ordering that much and it's and it's just it's sad because my brother was the victim and we live and we learn, but to learn from a situation like this, it, it really hurts. It hurts. Every day it hurts. Do, do, do you feel like talking to your parents or your brothers and sisters, if, uh, is, is there going to be, do you think there's going to be any sense of closure? Do you feel that any of it now? Do you think there will be? I will say this, and I heard one of my brothers say, now that there's closure, there's never closure. How can a, how can current Murray go to jail for involuntary manslaughter to get four years and he's out in two. That's not closure. And I hate to say this, but one of my brothers said, said that. And the reason why I say that there's never closure because he'll never come back. He'll never be back. You'll never get over, you just learn to live with it. You learn a way to not even accept it. You don't want to accept that someone's gone, that you just, learn to live with it and it makes you stronger but you still want that person back you still want them back here